Hey, what's going on, guys? So, General's Best here here with the showdown. The two top dogs as far as tablets out there, the Apple iPad versus the Motorola Zoom. And this showdown, we're going to go over a few categories and help you make a decision about which tablet may be the best fit for you. Let's go to first take a look at the hardware of these devices, starting with the Motorola Zoom. Now, the Motorola Zoom features a 10.1-inch screen on the front, which has a resolution of 1280 by 800, meaning if you're going to be playing movies back on this device, uh, a widescreen movie would take up the whole screen. You're not going to have the black bars on the top of the bottom. Um, also, on the front, you'll find a front-facing camera which is, shoots VGA video and also on the back you'll find a 5 megapixel camera that shoots HD video along with dual LED flash and also the speakers are placed on the back of the device which I don't like too much because if you lay this device flat on the on a surface the sound can sound a little bit muffled there um, on the bottom of the device you'll find uh, uh, HDMI out so you can plug this up to your TV and play back uh, photos or play back HD movies that you shot with the tablet itself uh, on the left hand side of the device when it's in landscape mode you'll find the volume buttons and also at the top of the device is again in landscape mode you'll find the headphone jack which is kind of a weird placement if you are going to be watching movies in landscape mode the headphone cord is going to have to either wrap around the on the bottom of the device or on the front it's just kind of weird and also on the top of the device you do have a, a sim card slot which it says is going to be slated for use for 4g now um so the device itself is, is pretty light and not heavy at all i like the back of it, it feels a little bit of a nice little grip on the back so when you're holding it, it doesn't feel like it's going to slip out your hand. Now let's go and take a look at the iPad, which features a 9.7 inch screen, and that one has a resolution of 1024 by 768. So when you are going to be watching movies back on this device, you will get the black bars at the top and bottom. Um, when you're holding it in uh, portrait mode, the volume button is on the right hand side, plus with a mute and on off switch or a ro rotation lock or orientation lock switch. At the top of the device, you'll find the power button and also um, the headphone jack as well. Again, that's in portrait mode though. Um, on the bottom device, you'll find the speaker. So Generally, for feature-wise, the Motorola Zoom does beat the iPad as far as the HDMI out and the cameras. It's really killer features for that device. Now, talking about speed, um, the iPad features a 1 gigahertz Apple A4 custom processor there, where the Motorola Zoom features a dual-core 1 gigahertz processor. So it is, in theory, should be a faster machine itself. Also features more RAM, um, but in theory, we're going to see how that actually works when we actually take a look at the OS. And on that note, let's go to take a look at some of the key features of these two different types of OSs out here, iOS and Android, that may be better suited for you. Let's first look at video chat capabilities. Now, the Motorola Zoom, since it does have a front and rear facing camera, you can use Google Talk with this to talk with anybody with a Gmail account. So if they're on their desktop computer and with the browser, they can call you, initiate a video or a voice call, and you can go to talk to each other. And it works very smooth, um, really no lag at all. Uh, picture could be a little bit better, but hey, I mean, for what it is on the tablet, especially if you're going to be using 3G, it works just fine. So I love that. And the iPad having no cameras, you can't really do video chat. Now, you can do a one-way video chat in some applications to send the video to the iPad, but the iPad's not going to be able to communicate back, and then you would probably have to wait to the iPad 2 for that. Now, customization, the Android Honeycomb on the Motorola Zoom just blows out customizations on the iPad. Again, like I talked about before, you can add different widgets to it. You can customize and move all the applications around at, like you want. Um, you have more wallpaper features, so just changing a, a standard wallpaper, and you can add a live wallpaper to add a moving wallpaper to it. Um, you can really customize the keyboard, add different keyboards to it. It's just, I mean, Android is customization, where iOS is kind of limited. You can change the wallpaper, that's about it. Um, you can add folders, um, but as far as getting any deeper to making it your own personal machine, um, the iPad is going to be lacking behind the Motorola Zoom. Okay, let's go ahead and look at browsers real quick. So we have Mobile Safari that's on the iPad and Google Chrome that's on the Motorola Zoom. And in my speed test here, loading up a few different websites, Google Chrome on the Motorola Zoom was faster than um, Safari on the iPad. So that's something to consider. And also, currently, Motorola Zoom does not have Flash. It does not support Flash right now. Uh, but Adobe and uh, Motorola said that Flash is going to be coming in a few weeks. So that's something to look forward to for people who really need to use Flash. And also, I like Google Chrome's uh, browser more because they have tab uh, management there. It has a little bit more features than what mobile safari offers just a really bare bones uh, web browser on the ipad and let's take a look at multitasking which is a very critical feature on tablets on the apple ipad it'll allow you to see all your applications open if you double tap on the home button you'll be able to see all the open applications you can simply tap and x amount any application that you want to close tap on the application and it'll open it up for you and go straight into it and also from that same pane you can um, adjust the brightness and the volume and also the audio playback if you're playing any music on your ipad and this makes for a very good um 
um, battery management since it freezes the applications in state so they're just not running fully in the background. Now the Motorola Zoom and Android Honeycomb, um, the multitasking, if you press the multitasking button and bring up the last, just the last five applications on the left hand side. Uh, but the good thing is it does show you thumbnails so you know exactly what's going on those applications before you actually open them up. Um, and also for generally, I mean the battery does drain a little bit more on the Motorola Zoom versus the iPad depending on seeing how the, the different multitasking works. Um, but they both have good features. The Motorola Zoom allows you to see thumbnails, but only shows you um, the last five with the Apple iPad. Shows you all of them, but you can't really see what those applications are doing um, before you actually click into them. And it's getting to probably the most important category, at least to me, is applications. The iPad, you have thousands upon thousands of tablet-ready applications that are made specifically for the iPad to take advantage of the bigger screen and the better power as far as processors and RAM over in the iPhone. But also you can run iPhone-specific applications um, on the iPad to just be a little bit magnified there. Now, the Motorola Zoom, I went into the marketplace and I was actually shocked when I only saw about 12 applications that are actually tablet ready applications in the Android marketplace, which has a lot of applications as far as mobile applications and cell phones. Uh, but I was pretty shocked it only had 12. Now you can do the same thing you can do on the iPad and run mobile applications on the Motorola Zoom, but it's just not the same feeling and these applications need to be designed for it. So this is really, really lacking and really far behind the iPad in this category. Let's talk about prices for these devices and see how much you're going to be having to come out of pocket to buy one of these tablets. Now, the iPad has multiple versions, but the lowest version is a 499 version that's 16 gigabyte Wi-Fi only. Now, the Motorola Zoom only has one version right now. It's going to be having more versions come soon, but it has one version right now, which is a 32 gigabyte Wi-Fi and 3G version that is upgradable to 4G, but it's not available yet. You've got to send it in for a week, yada, yada, yada. Um, and this is 800 and uh, this is $800. Now with the mobile world of zoom, you also is mandatory that you get at least one month data plan with Verizon, no matter if you want it or not, in order for them to sell you the device, you have to get that data plan and the lowest plan you can get is, uh, is $20. Oh, hold, hold on, soldier. I'm going to let you finish in one second. But anyway, Verizon and Motorola today just announced the day of the launch that you no longer need to do this. Now, this is, of course, after I already got my uh, Motorola Zoom here, but you no longer need to get a data plan in order to walk out the store with an unsubsidized full price Motorola Zoom at $800. So that's good news. So you're looking at out the door $820 for the Motorola Zoom and for a similar iPad, so you can get a 32 gigabyte Wi-Fi and 3G iPad, you're looking at about 720, 730 bucks. So you're looking at um, almost $90 difference between these two tablets um, as far as those two specs. Now the Motorola Zoom does have faster processor and stuff, but again, for just a general consumer out there, that is a big gap in um, price difference there. So that's something you'll have to take in consideration. A couple categories real quick here as far as notification systems between the two tablets the Motorola Zoom does win in that category because their system is non intrusive but very useful everything pops up on the bottom right hand corner of the screen very nicely but also the iPad kills the Motorola Zoom as far as gaming and multimedia having iPad specific applications like Netflix and Hulu plus a big library of games like Infinity Blade and Rage that really push games on the mobile platform the iPad hands down wins as far as entertainment. Okay, so where do we stand with these two devices? Which one's gonna be the best fit for you? Um, I have to say the Motorola Zoom is a really good device if you're looking to replace the core features of your laptop or netbook that you're carrying around. You want something lighter and a little bit smaller you can throw in the bag with you, but also does very good email, very good browsing, better multitasking and better overall customization than what the iPad offers. Now for those looking at the iPad, you're looking at a very good all around multimedia machine. Now it does multitasking, it does browsing, it does those well, just not better than the Motorola Zoom, but where it shines is that it's applications and software development, which makes it a brand new device almost every day with new applications being updated in the app store on a daily basis where I mean, I'm really saddened to see that the Motorola Zoom and Android uh, 3.0 only has 12 um, truly tablet ready applications as far as what I can see in the uh, marketplace there. And so also to a big player in this is going to be priced $820 out the door for the Motorola Zoom, the iPad. Depending on what you want, you can get it as low as $500. And again, we got to keep in consideration that the iPad is a one-year device removed, which still puts up a very good fight. Um, it still shines on a lot of different levels. And the iPad 2 is right around the corner. So, but ultimately, those are my things about what you may like about these two devices. But ultimately, you're going to have to decide, I mean, iOS or Android, really. That's the big deciding factor. And I can't tell you which one to like. Both of them are very good OSs. You're going to have to make that decision for yourself. But anyway, but thanks for watching, guys, watching this video. Hopefully, you learned a little bit. Hopefully, you like this video. Leave a comment uh, down below about what I may have missed in the video you may want me to do in a part two or just give your general opinion about what you think about these two tablets in general and thanks for watching guys and I will catch you later peace